Hey everyone, welcome back to the Yellow Jacket Garage. What this project we're going to do next is we're going to replace a rear hatch seal. Hopefully uh, we're going to get this cleaned up. I'll go around here in a minute and kind of show you what's going on with this hatch seal and uh, why we're replacing it. And uh, should be a relatively easy project. Something like this is something that is going to be real similar to any other vehicle out there because anywhere that they have openings you're going to have seals uh, hatches doors windows all of those kind of things and all of those seals are made to be relatively easily replaced uh, some of them might be a little bit tricky in spots but for the most part they should all be relatively easily replaceable because they do wear uh, they're out in the sun all the time they get uh, sun baked they get weather they get you know all kinds of other environmental stuff going on acid rain in places that you you live that might have that and so they make them so that you can replace them uh, relatively easy relatively inexpensive and so what we're going to do today is we are going to replace this whole seal that goes around the back window um, it seals against the hatch and so tries to keep the weather and the rain out so that's what we're going to try to get done today now in this car um, in the corners there's a little bit of damage repair from when this car was in the accident that it was uh, the tub was cracked and broken in a few spots and so there's a couple of places that they did rivets and a few other things and so we are going to have to get a little bit creative going around those spots to get the seal to set in as far as it should set in so we'll figure that out as we go though and, and hopefully we won't have to modify the seal at all um, I suspect we might have to in a few minor spots hopefully but that's it I, I really don't want to do much to it because when you start messing with them you compromise their integrity a little bit and we don't want to do that because the whole point behind this thing is to seal the weather out so let's go ahead and uh, get started we'll take a look at what we got to do uh, a few up closes and uh, see how much fun this is going to be okay what we're going to start with is we're going to start with removing the old seal and it really just kind of pulls off all the way around and uh, we're going to look at a couple of damaged spots so far this one doesn't have anything all the way around it let me get around to the other side um, over in here on the other side there is some uh, rivets and whatnot that we're done. I know you can't really see that. Let me get, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, I guess I've adjusted a little bit. So, um, pull this out here. And that should come out of, out of there pretty easy. There's a little bit of dust and dirt and little stuff that we're going to vacuum out here in a second. Okay, I had to turn on a little bit of light so that we could see what's going on in here. Unplug that without breaking it. Nope. It doesn't want to play. So we're just going to pull the seal out. So we got it all the way off, all the way around the side. And so far, all of our edges, all of our mating surfaces for the new seal are in good shape. This other side over here is where we're going to run into the problem. Let me climb back out of here and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go ahead and pull on this back side here. That side has a little bit of... stuff on it. Alright, the old seal is out. This area here is really kind of where I was concerned. There's a repair right in here and it, this whole edge is kind of missing all the way here. And so I'm going to look at the other side, see what the differences are in the two and see what we can do to give us a better mating surface on this side for the new seal. Okay, I repositioned the camera a little bit. Um, this corner right here, there's a couple of rivets down here that are kind of holding things together. 
you know, I think they epoxied it all and, and I'm not sure what the whole gimmick is but this whole area in here we lost pretty much all of our mating edge that that seal attaches to as it goes around. I'm trying to think of a way to kind of add some of that back. This part here is pretty thick with whatever they used. And there's some spots in here they could have put some more epoxy on or whatever they glued it back together with, but yeah. Alright, this is the old seal. I just kind of want to take a little piece of it and try to reposition it. And see how it kind of attaches and how well it attaches. I did go ahead and vacuum out around here and stuff too, so we got a relatively clean working environment for all this. So, it seems like the seal is pretty well placed in here. And I will use a rubber mallet when we install the new seal so we kind of get it to seat as good as we can. So I think we'll have enough have enough bite that it'll be okay right in here. That was kind of my concern. The new seal is a the, the metal inside of it, it pinches a little bit tighter as you're trying to install it, so it'll it'll clamp on a little bit better than this one. I think we'll be okay. Get that out of the way. All right, we're cleaned up, we're ready. Let's go ahead and put in a new seal. Okay, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use a little bit of this uh, Meguiar's Detailer Citrus Power Cleaner. I wanna do just a little bit of a clean around these uh, mating surfaces. We'll clean them up, wipe them down, make sure that they're clean before they go back together. Uh, before the new seal goes in, you want to be careful because this is fiberglass and there is this this car was in an accident So some of that fiberglass is damaged and so Last thing you want to do is get this stuff in your fingers And so there is still a little bit of it sticking up in places and so I'm kind of feeling the rag as it catches And I'll stop there and not not force it because like I said, I don't want this stuff all over my hands, or stuck in my hands. Okay, when uh, I was doing the cleanup on everything, I kind of ran across this crack here that I'd seen before, but I didn't think it was that bad, and I thought that it had been fixed from when whoever did the body work on it. It has not been fixed. It is still, it still moves around, and uh, the problem is my rag was catching on it, and so being that it's cracked as far back in as it is, there's without a doubt uh, any water that comes down off the top is going to ride that crack and go to the inside. And so what my plan is, is to mix up a little bit of epoxy. And I'm going to go ahead and push the epoxy into the hole, let it set up, probably clean this up. I think I have some flat black paint um, and just kind of lightly respray this so that it that it looks nice and so that's what we're going to do next. I know it's kind of a detour on the, the putting the seal in project but I don't want to put the seal back in um, on a surface that is something that I can fix and it's it'll have to be better no matter what so I mean it may not be the the best choice to do it that way but um, I don't have the the tools to do all the fiberglass repair and everything else so that's what it's going to be. I'm going to clean it up with some other cleaner to make sure that it sticks or that the epoxy adheres, adheres as well as it can. And so yeah, we'll see how it turns out. So that's a little bit of bonus content for today's project. Okay, I've mixed up my equal parts of this epoxy. And uh, I used an old license plate but this one is covered, so it's 
got a piece of plastic over it so it should be just fine and I used a bamboo barbecue skewer as my mixing stick so I get bonus points for that so what I'm going to try to do is kind of force as much of that into that crack as I can and the crack goes all the way around the corner so it's something that at the repair point of this accident damage it should have been fixed but it wasn't so it is what it is okay as you can see I got it epoxied in I got a clamp on it and so hopefully because the two panels there was movement and so my goal is to try to get those panels to stay together and hopefully lined up in about the, the right line. So it'll take the epoxy a little while to dry. And it's still kind of tacky to the touch. Um, this stuff up here doesn't really matter. But uh, that'll give me time to go get some, some flat black spray paint. I'm probably going to do a, just a light sand on some of this to clean it up a little bit. And uh, do a little bit of a mask and hopefully get it to match relatively close. It looks like it might not even be a flat black. It might be like a semi-gloss or something like that, but satin. I don't know. But uh, we'll at least put a little coat of paint on it so that it looks nice and hopefully uh, we can cover that up. Not that we're trying to hide it because it's still going to be visible even after the, the paint's on there. It just that it at least aesthetically it looks a little bit more like uh, you know like it was done well and so or as well as it could be all right everybody we're back um, it's been a couple of days I did go ahead and clean up this area under here I epoxied it and uh, let it dry repainted it so uh, it's not perfect but uh, it's a lot better than it was I went ahead and laid the seal out um, you can see it's kind of set in place. There is a right way to put these in. Normally, the the where the gap, I pulled out of the package and uh, popped it in half. So I got a trick for that later on because we do want to make sure the ends are, are sealed up well. Um, but you want that little pointy part facing out on the top, and then in the corners. Let me see if uh, we can see this. In the corners of the gasket, it's kind of got this little, looks like it's scrunched down thing. Well, that goes in this corner right here. And so what that's going to do is going to put this seal here over here on the side, which normally that seal is in the top. But then again, normally the seals are a one piece all the way around and you just basically pull the struts off of there. If you can get them to do that, make sure they do that. Mine, I pulled it out of the package and was uncoiling it and it kind of twisted up and it, and it popped that... Uh, the steel rib that's in there and so we'll have to uh, make that one work uh, we'll do a little bit of trick on the end of it so we'll show you that when we get to that point but anyway here's where we're at I stretched the seal around just to make sure I get it all lined up where it's supposed to go I'm gonna start on one end and work my way all the way around and so let's go ahead and get this seal installed all right to get this done um, kind of had to climb into the workspace to do it so anyway what we're going to start on is this corner over here where it it has that bend in it the, the, the odd looking piece and then we'll get the seal to set get it as far on there as you can get it it might take a little bit of encouragement to get it to do what it needs to do And we want to make sure, we're going to probably have to come back and do a little bit of adjustment on it as we go. There we go. And where some of the repair work that they did, there's a few high spots and whatnot that are not going to make it easy to get the seal all the way down to the mating surface of where it needs to be. And uh, we'll have to work around those areas as we get to them. And one of them is this corner over here. But it feels like it's gone over there 
pretty well. Now there's enough of a bite with this seal that you shouldn't have to use any adhesives or anything on it to get it to stick. Just put it on, push it on, and uh, just kind of make sure that it's in the location as best as it can be. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting it around. It's around here because no sense in watching, watching me crawl around in the uh, trunk space or the cargo space of this car for no reason. So let me uh, pause this and we'll be right back. Okay, like I said, uh, the gaps were off on the end of the, the pieces just a little bit, and so I had to go back around and uh, pull on those gaps, uh, pull on the, the, the weather strip just to kind of close up that distance. And so now they meet up real well, and what I'm going to do, pull that gap back off. I'm going to give it a little bit of a pull that way. And you want those gaps as tight as they can be between the two. But what we're going to do is I have some uh, black RTV silicone and I'm going to put a really super, super small thin film on the ends of that gasket, mate the two of them together so that once that, uh, once that adhesive dries, then it will be a continuous seal all the way around the back and uh, no chance of water getting in at that point. But all in all, the gasket went on really well, and so let's go ahead and grab the silicone, get that dabbed up, and uh, get it to dry, and, and then uh, we'll look at the finished product. Okay, this is where the, the gap is right here that we're gonna seal up. Um, I went ahead and put a rubber glove on because, well, we're using this stuff, and. It's going to be probably a little bit of a mess. I've got the Permatex Ultra Black is what I'm using. And uh, really no rhyme or reason other than I'm using black because it matches the color of the uh, seal. And uh, really that's the, that, that is it. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference. I wouldn't use some bright color if you're doing this, but uh, use what you got. And so just doing a little bit of a dab on the ends of the seal and then kind of stretch it back push it back in place I'm kind of squishing it together oops my light fell kind of squishing it together so that we get the best contact that we can <coughs> Hey everyone, uh, that's a wrap for today's video. I got the seal in, worked out just fine. Um, probably gonna have to go back around it again and kind of push it down on uh, to make sure that it, that it clamps on. But uh, all in all, it was a real easy project, so um, it's easy to do if you need that done in your own car. It's not just a Corvette thing. Every car has weather stripping, and if the weather stripping needs to be replaced, uh, get that stuff replaced because it helps keep water out of your car and it helps keep exhaust and stuff out of your car, so it is kind of a safety issue. But uh, Really easy, didn't take that long. Um, I know this is the second day of the video, but it's, I got late, you know, got kind of going late on the other one, uh, on the first part of this video, and then had to do a little bit of work and let it set up and everything else. So, but anyway, again, I'd like to thank Burke for letting me uh, use, this, use this car for my content. Um, if you haven't checked him out already, go over to uh, the Road Odyssey channel, check him out. Um, Burke has a lot of fun going on drives and all kinds of cool stuff, so take a look at his, at his, uh, channel. Also, I want to thank Steve down at Hawkins Auto Body for letting me use his uh, C5 Corvette as a, uh, not a guinea pig, but as a, uh, you know, a, a comparison tool because his is untouched and so great car. But uh, appreciate it, Steve. Take care of that dog. Anyway, um, yeah. So if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. I need all the help I can get to get this channel to grow. Tell your friends if that's something you think that they might be interested in watching. Let them know that it's out here. Also, um, hit that like button. And uh, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover and probably then some. And so you all tell me just to move along. We'll see you on down the road.
sometimes living out in the country, I'm not sure I'm really bad backlit, but sometimes living out in the country is kind of cool because we do have little bugs and critters that kind of live out here with us. These stick bugs are all over the place. So, anyway, we enjoy the country life. I figured I'd just add that as a little bonus. And uh, apparently he's going to see us on down the road too. Now, actually, I'll take him and uh, I'll, I'll release him out onto one of the oak trees that we have out here. So he'll be released back into the wild safely and humanely. But uh, thanks for watching.